For a while now, we knew about Chessington World of Adventure's new land called World of Jumanji, a famous movie where the creatures in the game come to life. Included in this section was a mysterious wing coaster. Finally, on December 14th, we got a name and logo. Here's my analysis of Chessington's new for 2023 wing coaster, Mandrill Mayhem. Currently, there are a few facts about the coaster, so let's get through what we know. Mandrill Mayhem, what we believe to be the name of the coaster, was previewed in an image of the future world of Jumanji at Chessington in England. This is going to be a smaller scaled B&M wing coaster, and the only shuttle coaster of this variant. The wing coaster will be wrapping around this whole section, one spike being at the one end of the section and the other spike being opposite it. The latter spike wraps around a giant Jumanji stone statue standing tall beyond the entrance of the area. The track will be green as seen from photos and will most likely be the most thrilling ride in the park. It will include an inversion passed through twice, being the only ride in the park with a launch, shuttle, and inversion. Vampire will be a close second to this coaster, but I believe Mandrill Mayhem will come out on top. Speaking of which, for those who don't know what a mandrill is, it's a colorful African monkey. Now let's jump into the layout of the ride. Starting in the station, it's important to note that this ride will only have one train, unless a transfer track is added, which I doubt. This ride begins with a backward launch out of the station. The station brakes act as an LSM and brake run. Heading backward, the ride slowly turns to the left and up a vertical spike. However, due to the size of the spike and the speed of the coaster, only the back cars get the full height of the spike. The front cars stay nearly level with the ground. The ride continues forward and passes back through the station, accelerating back up. This acceleration leads straight into a low-to-the-ground left-hand turn. This left-hand turn leads into the only inversion on the coaster, the first time passing through. This inversion will cause some decent hang time before the train continues forward, heading straight into a left-hand turn. Every single main turn on this coaster leads to the left because of how it encircles the whole Jumanji Plaza. I say main turn because after this bend is a small right-hand turn that aligns the train with the second launch track. This launch track looks to propel the train at the maximum speed of the ride, where it quickly whips into the most photogenic element. This double upwards helix surrounds the Jumanji statue and will provide some great positives at the bottom. At the top of the tight helix, the train rolls back, which may be uncomfortable sitting sideways for so long, but we'll wait and see. The train rolls down the spiral backward, once again providing positives at the bottom. The train then propels backward, which should cause some good forward push throughout the train. And that lame right-hand turn is now a whippy lateral moment while going backward. After these two turns, the train enters the final inversion, a slower hang time filled backward barrel roll. Finally, the train passes through the station and goes up into the first spike, which concludes the experience on Mandrill Mayhem. So what are my thoughts on this coaster? I think that Mandrill Mayhem is a fantastic fit for the small family park of Chessington. This ride by no means is an extreme coaster. However, it fills important gaps in the park's lineup for expansion. These are hang time, inversions, launches, and a shuttle experience. It should be the most thrilling coaster in the park and will be very iconic in a new section. It will also be very reliable as a B&M, which may be the reason why the park went with this manufacturer. It should be a big hit, and I can't wait to hear more about the ride experience and if there will be any theming besides the statue. Mandrill Mayhem is an okay name, I would have preferred something else, but it'll do. Maybe they could have done more with the layout, but the coaster looks fun. Thank you so much for watching this short video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment what you think of Mandrill Mayhem and have a great rest of your day.